Okay, so we got the wiring done and we installed Node MCU firmware onto our ESP and now it's time to uh, put Node.js onto the Pi. I'll go real quick on how you would install the OS onto Pi but there's plenty of good information on the web so I won't go into very much detail. So you go to raspberrypi.org, download the image, put it on an SD card, plug it in onto the Pi and turn it on and follow the instructions, pretty much it. So now that we got that, I want to connect to my Pi using this program called Putty. And Putty is free, download it from here. And what it allows me to do is to actually stay on my PC while I'm recording this session without having to go switch back and forth to another screen that's connected to the Pi. And actually, as a matter of fact, my Pi doesn't even have a screen right now. So all you need to do is just find out the address of your Pi, which you can do with an IF config, I believe and then you say I want to connect to it via SSH and then boom we go over here and then we are logging to actually to the Pi right here and we're in so this is actually what we are seeing here is the output of the Raspberry Pi so everything you see in here actually is happening on the Raspberry Pi so from here we could do things like I don't know ll list files change directory to my directory and then in here is where we actually install the node.js and that's pretty simple also just enter these three commands really and I learned all that from this guy so I think his name is Peter yeah uh, so thanks Peter for the very very simple instructions on how to set up node.js onto Raspberry Pi so you just type this exactly the same and it will go get node.js from this address and then you will do type this and it will install that package from uh, that website and then when it's done you can type that which I'm going to do right here and there it is so Node.js is installed onto uh, our Raspberry Pi and that's the version and once we got this we have all the pieces now so we could actually let's do a let me show you a little test there's a hello world right there so let's show you hello world so that's just simply saying, you know, go right to the console, this word. So if you to run a Node.js program, you just say node and the name of the program. And then it will run that. And there it is. So, um, and, and the, the cool thing about Node.js is that it's so popular. There's a lot of different packages that other people have uh, created. So like, for instance, uh, to send an email from Node.js, uh, I found this uh, component called emails written by Elis. I don't know what his real name is. So thanks Elis. And uh, to do to install it you just say npm install email js and it will find wherever this uh, github is and download it and install it. And to use it, let me just go real quick to, to show you how easy it is. So we'll do another more. This is how I learned how to do emailing. This is how you would do an include, kind of like a include in C that this is how you say I want to require that module that you have already installed and then you just set up some parameters for what you want to do so you say connect using these login and that's my test test uh, email so this is not my real email um, and then you say I want to send something you say the text is this and that's all it takes and by the time you're done with these few lines here it actually sends an email it is very easy to have a button on the ESP that will talk to the Raspberry Pi on Node.js and Node.js will just have these few lines and it will send an email. I thought that was pretty cool.